Ugh, not again. Hey guys, Iron Seagull here, back with yet another store review for The Sims 3 store, of course. And it's yet another venue. I mean, jeez, it feels like they've been pumping out venues by the ton lately, like there's so many of them. And yes, yet another one has come out October 17, 2013, which is today. I'm not sure why I said that. And he's discovering Joy's social networking. But anyways, this review is for the Grimm's Ghastly Manor, as you can see. And I placed it in Midnight Hollow in winter. So yeah, this is a little sneak peek for the next part of Midnight Hollow. This is in winter, pretty much. So yeah, it's... Um, 1700 sim points right now on sale until October 24th. I don't know why it's not on sale until Halloween, but yeah, it's on sale until October 24th and it'll go up to the regular venue price of 1900 sim points. And yeah, as you've already seen, Duck has died from being crushed by the vending machine yet again. Just putting toys away for some reason. And the carpool from Marielle will come for an hour an hour's time, but we don't care because we're going to do some stuff with this review. Um, so yeah, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to jump right into the gameplay and try to bring Duck back, and we'll see what happens. Because apparently if you have the Pets expansion pack installed, the Sim can actually come back as a cat, dog, or a horse, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, what is he doing putting toys away? I don't know why he cares so much about that. He's getting a routing failure already. Oh, there's like a ballad on top. Wow. And yeah, as you can see, the rabbit hole for the graveyard is there. So yeah, it can completely replace your graveyard then, which is pretty fantastic. Okay, so let's reincarnate Sim because the tombstone is in Antino's inventory. I don't know if it had to be in his inventory, but... Okay, choose a ghost, Duck Esposito. See what happens here. Oh. Okay, get a good camera angle. Cinematic view. Oh, there he is. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Behold my power, I've reincarnated Duck Esposito. Oh, but now he's like... It's like really brown. He's a baby. Huh. <laughs> well, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Duck is now a baby. And he's he's a different different race. Put in crib. Oh, I guess there's probably one inside the manor. And for some reason, the welcome mat is a cat wearing Kanye West like sunglasses. I don't understand that. Oh boy, all this crying. Yes, okay, we've read that message already. And <laughs> no, I was just putting him in there. Oh man, that's quite something. Um, okay, so there's another thing. Well, actually, there's more than one other thing, but there's a bunch of other things we can do at the door. But actually, maybe let's just look at what's inside the mansion first. So yeah, there's the little nursery upstairs, and there's the, oh, well, not, it's not really a computer room, more of an entertainment room, I guess, because there's the computer. And there's an old TV with a video game console, I don't know how the old TV supports that video game console, but it does somehow. Uh, oh, and there's a stereo over there. And there's a huge clock. I guess I should have started on the first floor, but I don't care, really. <laughs> it's just going down and down. Uh, okay, so there's a little fireplace over here, a little eating area in the kitchen with espresso machine, and easel for painting. Feel inspired by the Grim Reaper somehow. I don't know. It's your story. I don't. I don't know. Anyways, uh, bar over here. Base game bar. A lot of crates for some reason. 
chess table and bathroom and another gate behind there oh it's just like an alternate entrance yeah okay that's cool basement oh yeah of course there has to be a basement let's turn these lights on all of them wow okay this is kind of cool Oh, okay, yeah, I think this is one of the new objects. Oh, it's just decorative? Okay. There's a treadmill with some interesting wallpaper there. Reminds me of World Adventures. And this foosball table. Another, like, little, um, grave, I guess. Oh, I guess they use the fog emitter here, because there's fog. And, yeah. That's pretty cool, I guess. And there are there are like some actual things to do like play the foosball table and work it out on the treadmill. Uh, just making sure I don't miss anything here. Uh, doesn't appear to be. Nope. And the snow builds up nicely on the roof there. I must say, I do like the whole grand entrance with the with the staircases. Okay, so yeah, let's move on to the rest of the stuff with this uh, door of life and death. I, I guess I didn't say what it was called already, but I said it now, so. Uh, let's play against the Reaper. So yeah, I got her skill up to level 10, and we can get a Death Flower if we win in a guitar duel against the Grim Reaper. So we will use our Cupcake Surprise Katy Perry Sweet Treats guitar, and we'll see if we win! Feed him with cupcakes and a desire to avenge the death of Duck Esposito, even though he's back. But who cares? We want a guitar to. Oh! Oh, darn it. I thought I was gonna use the guitar in the inventory. Oh, no, no, she's like, um. <laughs> she's like, yeah! So I was about to rock. Salute you! Yeah! Seasons don't fear the reaper. Or the wind, or the sun, or the rain. Be like they are. Look at that flaming guitar. Wow, dude. Cinematic view. Wow, that was something else. But let's see what Grim does. <laughs> Mario, I was like, yeah! It's kicking my butt, but I don't care. Whoa. Oh! Just beat the Grim Reaper in a wicked guitar battle. Okay. I thought she was gonna lose because she was like. She, she's like showing his moves. But yeah, there you go. Perfect quality death flower. She's gonna use the toilet. Ponder her victory while in the bathroom. That's pretty cool. Whatever. I'm not gonna judge. Come back here, Antino. Let's do some other stuff. Um, okay, so yeah, we can rename him. Uh, let's see if there's any interesting animation with that. What is he doing? Okay. And you know. Esposito. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and you know. Esposito. Two star celebrity. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to that. Uh, let's call for Reaper. <laughs> That's funny, the, the breath is like going through his hood. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? He changes his outerwear, I think. Wow. That was unexpected. Wow. Very interesting looking sim underneath that. So he's just chatting it up. It can be romantic. Eh. Don't feel like it. But let's, um, let's show him internet cats. I'm sure even the Grim Reaper likes 
internet cats, grumpy cat, any funny internet cat there is. Wait, what is this? <laughs> oh, wow. Even the Grim Reaper is like, I think you're hot. You, Not even him. Not even he's like, oops, sorry about that. Um, not even he's um, immune to those sorts of messages. I'm not sure how, what else to say. That. Not immune, but you know what I mean. Let's ask about his career. If he has like some special, super special career. I am death, I collect souls. Mm -hmm. and cry on shoulder. Ask to make a snowman? We might do that. Um, uh, well, actually, we'll shaka bra first. Um, where is the snowball fight thing? Initiate snowball fight. Oh. He's unemployed. Um, <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> yeah. Might slow mo replay that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. I guess there's not enough space. That's a disappointment. And he asked to make snowman? Uh, make... Oh, yeah, the simulate genetic merger. So you can do this with any supernatural creature you want. But yeah, he's currently busy because we're making a snowman with him, but you get you get the thing. And, uh, although there isn't really enough time to go over it in this, uh, video, <laughs> overview slash review, there are special moodlets associated with that. Let me just, uh, check what they're called again. Uh, this is a pretty cool site, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, there's Cryptic Pregnancy Stage 1 and 2 moodlets. Uh, and don't fear the Grim Reaper. Oh, wait, does Mariella have it? Oh, no, she doesn't. That's strange. I'm not sure. Maybe it's not a very long-lasting moodlet. Grim Reaper, the Reaper is pleased with you. <laughs> For now. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I'm not sure what triggered that. I guess it was just building the snowman with him. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention because I was too busy looking at my laptop, checking moodlets. So I don't know if he went back in the, the door, or I, I don't see him. Uh, okay. I guess he went back in. So, uh, let's hang holiday house lights. Uh, hanging multicolored. This looks like, there we go. Grim Reaper getting all Christmassy and stuff. I like how there's a statue right on top of it. So yeah, if you wanted to know what it looks like, Christmas decorations, there you go. Uh, actually, yeah, let's play against the Reaper one more time, just to see if she gets the moonlit, and then we'll... Um, I don't know if we can actually do with these supernatural creatures. I mean, uh, this is in the same save as my LP save, which has vampires. But, oh, vampire's not in here. Oh, that's very weird. But there, um, there's Elena. She's a witch. That could work. I don't know. We can see what happens. Okay, yeah, it does have to be an actual sim living in the world. It can't just be like, oh, in initiate with genetics of a mermaid or a witch or whatever. So let's do this again, yeah. <laughs> She's the greatest song in the world And you know, walking in the background This is a tribute the Greatest song in the world Whoops, wow, okay, what the... There we go Wow, the snow is going epic Epicness Okay, let's see what he does Ah, tube! Yeah she won again, yeah. Oh, okay, it's a two-hour moodlet. Don't fear the Grim Reaper. Not many can say they've outplayed the Reaper and his flaming guitar. Well done. Plus 25 mood. Okay, so... Let's, oh, wait. No, don't go home yet. Which Elena Irving. 
And by the way, I do have a lighting mod installed made for Midnight Hollow, so that's why it's a little bit lighter than you would expect. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be like really dark, probably. Navro, Navro, George. I'm speechless right now. George. Wow, oh. earthquake. Uh, she's singed. Does that mean it worked? I I don't know. Let's try one more time. Or can we just do nearby sin instead? Maybe that'll be successful. Maybe with the guy? Oh, there's a Julian in this town. Because that's my name, if, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Julian Poirot. That's not my last name, by the way. But that's strange. I had no idea there was a Julian in this town until now. Oh, there's a Winchester. <laughs> Not Sam or Dean Winchester, unfortunately. Oh, I think that might have worked. Or perhaps not. Hmm. I don't know. I had I don't remember reading in the blog that Sims get singed from doing this. So, um Yeah. I guess we will go to the create a sim items. Yeah. This one's really nice. It looks like it would actually fit right in with the supernatural clothes. Now this one is really well put together. I'll definitely use this at least semi-regularly in my off-camera gameplay. And I like how they actually put four different colors. Now this one surprised me. I didn't expect to like this one, but it actually is really nice, and I love the little details on the outfit. I think I will use this occasionally for formal wear. This outfit's kind of eh for me, but it does fit in with Midnight Hollow. But why is it called the World's Collide outfit? And this one I really love. I'm not sure how often I'll use it, but I really do like it a lot, and I like all the little detailing on the buttons and such. Okay, so yeah, before I wrap up this review, I'll say one thing. Uh, the pit monster actually really loves the paparazzi and zombies, so if you're playing as a celebrity, you could definitely use this in your mansion against those guys, which is fantastic. And, um... So, my final thoughts... Well, the lot size is pretty weird. It's like 50 by 25 and I don't know. I don't remember if there are really that many 50 by 25 lots in neighborhoods. Like I, I think there is one in Sunset Valley, but uh, I didn't place it on a 20 by, or 50 by 25 lot here. I actually placed it on a much bigger one, but it, it still fits. It still fits all right. It's actually right next to the graveyard in Midnight Hollow, so maybe I'll actually demolish this one and keep this uh, Grimm's Ghastly Manor here. And yeah, that's a big drawback for me though about the not using the guitar from the inventory. It's just a generic red guitar I've never seen before. Because I, I wanted to like smash the Grim Reaper into oblivion with the cupcake Katy Perry Sweet Treats guitar, but I couldn't do that. Which is really too bad. At least they get a moodlet though. And in my opinion, if you're not a fan of the Grim Reaper, this venue, I'm sad to say, is probably not worth the price, even on sale, because there's only 17 items in the set, and it's 1700 points on sale, so usually the price is a little bit better versus the items. I don't know, that's it's kind of strange. So yeah, that's a huge drawback. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wow, so many venues. I don't know, I guess it's actually kind of good that this came out around Halloween. It actually makes sense. Although this actually could have been a really good venue to put as the very last one too, since it has to do with life and death. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, favorite, whatever you feel like doing. So it lets me know that you really enjoyed this review. So yeah, have a good day guys.